So the next bird we're going to think about is this one, the bullfinch. Um, so they're a really beautiful bird. They're quite secretive um, and they're quite, um, yeah, quite elusive and quiet. So they've got this beautiful plumage. The males have this bright sort of salmon pinky red front, this very distinctive black mask, um, a white rump, which you often see as it flies away from you, black tail. Um, and they also have a very, very rounded beak. So this is actually not very realistic. It'd be much more rounded than that. And they actually use that for mainly eating seeds. So they're vegetarians, so they don't eat insects, they mainly eat seeds. Um, so I often feel like, um, because they're so brightly coloured, they haven't really put any effort into their song because they've put all their effort into their plumage. Um, so their song is very, very quiet. Um, and in fact, you're more likely to hear the call of a bullfinch than the actual song itself. Um, so the males will sing. But this is really the sound that you're going to be listening out for. So it's very, very um, sort of quiet, very unassuming, almost apologetic. It's sort of a peeping noise. I mean, you often sort of hear it from hedgerows, and if you're lucky, you might get them in your garden. They especially like to visit bird baths more in the evening, I've found. But you'll also see them sort of in hedgerows. Um, they tend to be found in pairs, so the male and the female will be found together. Female's got very similar markings, but she hasn't got this bright sort of red pinky front. Hers is sort of a more of a dusky pinky grey colour. Um, so that's the bullfinch. Um, just an interesting sort of fact. These used to be, um, it's hard to believe, but these birds used to be persecuted quite a lot, particularly by farmers who had orchards. And the reason for that is that in the early spring, the favourite food of these birds is the new buds of blossom from fruit trees. Um, so if you're in an orchard, these guys can really decimate your crop. Um, so for hundreds of years they were really persecuted. Um, fortunately that doesn't happen so much now, um, so they're making a bit of a comeback and you're probably more likely to see them now you would have been sort of 50 years ago. Um, but yeah, that's the bullfinch, lovely bird, keep an eye out for it and listen for that very quiet, unassuming sort of peeping noise coming from your garden or in the hedgerows. Okay, that's, thanks for that and I'll see you again next time.